there is one thing that I really, really, really is interruptions. So I'm only gonna say this once. Acknowledge me. What is good, YouTube? Kyle here from Wrestling With Fans. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the 2021 PWI 500 and the big debate that has been going on since they revealed the top 10. Who is the rightful number one wrestler in the world? Let's take a look. All right, guys, let's take a look. We got the top 10 that was revealed by PWI earlier this week. And as you can see, coming in at number 10 on the 2021 PWI 500, Rich Swan. Number nine, Shingo Takagi. Number eight, the prince himself, Finn Balor. Number seven, Will Ospreay. Number six, John Moxley. Number five, Kota Ibushi. Number four, Drew McIntyre. And number three, the almighty champion himself, Bobby Lashley. And then the big debate is right here. Number two, the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns. And then number one is ranked by PWI, the belt collector, the cleaner, Kenny Omega. Now, the two-in-one spot is where the biggest debate has come in so far this week. Lots of chatter on the internet from the wrestling community. But what I'd like to do is take a look at Roman and Kenny's records for that window between July 1st, 2020 and June 30th, 2021. Let's take a closer look. Let's start off with the man ranked at number two in this year's PWI 500, Roman Reigns. Now for the window of July 1st, 2020 through June 30th, 2021, Roman Reigns had a record of 18, one and one. His one loss is via DQ and the other one is a no contest. But let's look at some of the highlights of Roman Reigns last year in professional wrestling. Of course, he returned at SummerSlam 2020 and then not long after won the Universal title at Payback from Braun Strowman and The Fiend in a triple threat match. He then went on to beat Cousin Jey Uso in an awesome match at Night of Champions, defeated Braun Strowman on the October 16th edition of SmackDown, then he beat Jey Uso again in an I Quit Hell in a Cell match at Hell in a Cell 2020. Defeated Drew McIntyre at Survivor Series. Beat Kevin Owens in a TLC match at the Royal Rumble. Beat Daniel Bryan at Elimination Chamber and again at Fastlane. Then you had the Triple Threat match at WrestleMania 37, Roman defeating Daniel Bryan and the 2021 Royal Rumble winner Edge. And finally, he beat Rey Mysterio on the June 18th edition of SmackDown in a Hell in a Cell match. He had a crazy year, lots of wins. Only loss on his record for that time frame is that DQ loss, and that was in a tag match against Kevin Owen and Otis against himself and Jey Uso. And again, the one draw slash no contest was from the January 22nd edition of Friday Night SmackDown. Roman, awesome year. They've portrayed him as so strong, untouchable, just destroying everybody on SmackDown. Awesome year. But now let's take a closer look at the man PWI ranked at number one, Kenny Omega. All right, now for the cleaner, Kenny Omega. In that window, July 1, 2020 to June 30th, 2021, he had a record of 26 and 5. He did wrestle several more matches than Roman Reigns, but also had five legit losses to Roman Reigns, one DQ loss. Let's look at some highlights from Kenny Omega's year. Kicking off that window with Fighter Fest Night 1, July 1st. He was one half of the AEW World Tag Team Champions with Hangman Adam Page. They beat the best friends, Trent and Chuck. And then on night two of Fighter Fest, it was taped. Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega defeating Private Party. He then went on 
July 15th, Fight for the Fallen in a six-man tag match with the Young Bucks, defeating Jurassic Express. He did lose the AEW Tag Team Championships with Adam Page at All Out 2020 to Cash Wheeler and Dax Harwood FTR. He then went on to beat Adam Page at full gear. He won the AEW World Heavyweight Championship on December 2nd at the Winter is Coming edition of AEW Dynamite. Then just under two weeks later, successfully defended the AAA Mega Championship against Laredo Kid at AAA Triple Mania 28. He then on, went on to defeat Ray Phoenix at New Year's Smash Night 1 on January 6th. We're going to jump ahead just a little bit to April 25th. Impact Wrestling Rebellion 2021. Kenny Omega captures the Impact Wrestling World title from Rich Swan. He would go on Blood and Guts May 5th. Eddie Kingston and John Moxley defeating the team of Kenny Omega and Michael Nakazawa. We're going to jump ahead a little bit more. It's a really, really fun match. Defeating Orange Cassidy and Pac in a triple threat match at Double or Nothing. He successfully defended the Impact World title against Moose at Impact Wrestling's Slammiversary. And on June 26th, in a very memorable match... On a special episode of Saturday Night Dynamite, Kenny Omega defending the title against Jungle Boy in a winning effort on his end. Again, his record, 26-5, Roman 18-1-1. So even though Kenny Omega may have wrestled a few more matches, Roman does have the superior record when it comes to win-losses for the consideration window for the PWI 500. So now quickly, I just want to touch on some of the intangibles. Now, Kenny Omega has been the centerpiece for AEW throughout that consideration window for PWI. And he did lose the tag team championships, but was on the winning end the majority of the time in all of his matches. He was main eventing Dynamite, main eventing pay-per-views. He won not only the AEW world title, but also the Impact Wrestling world title as well. Great year, awesome story going on with him and Don Callis, Gallows and Anderson, and eventually the Young Bucks. The Elite are back together yet again. And over on the WWE side, Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief, the head of the table with his special counsel, Paul Heyman, the number one centerpiece on SmackDown for that entire year. He was Universal Champion for the entire year. Great stories with Jey Uso. Awesome stuff with Daniel Bryan and Edge leading into WrestleMania. It's a really, you can flip a coin. Whoever you pick, you can't go wrong with who was the best wrestler for 2021, the PWI 500. But here's where I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Discuss it down in the comments below. Let me know who is your number one pick for wrestler of the year. Roman Reigns, Kenny Omega, maybe somebody else. I'd love to hear from you. Discuss it down below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old fat thumbs up and then super click all over that subscribe button to keep up to date anytime a new video goes live here on Wrestling With Fans. But that's going to do it for this one. Once again, my name is Kyle. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Wrestling With Fans.